Hello, one and all, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. We're in the new house. And it's time for a new vlog. We're gonna make some food, because we're hungry. Man, are we hungry. You know what else we are? Thirsty. We're thirsty for a little bit of... 21 and up. It's National Margarita Day. But to go along with the margaritas, we're gonna have us a little Mexican meal. We're gonna make uh, quesadillas from a recipe from our Disney book. The ultimate Disney World cookbook. So yeah, we got a uh, recipe from Mexico. Who'd have thunk that? Got the old quesadilla maker there, so that's gonna be good. We have ingredients. We have jalapeno peppers, chorizo, cheese, Munster. We've got limes, and obviously, we've got tequila, uh, and the things that go with that, your orange liqueur triple sec, our sweet and sour mix, we got a little OJ, and uh, and you got your limes. Can't Say have... it again. Say limes again. Limes? Yeah. Why? All right, so the two uh, the things that we're gonna make is the chorizo and chicken quesadilla. Apparently this margarita that we're gonna make is uh, $15 at Disney. About normal for their, you know, special margaritas. Jessica's getting all that stuff together. I'm gonna try to find a recipe because I can't find the recipe for this exact one. I just know what's in the drink. I just, I just don't know what, how much of what goes in it. Even a bad margarita is really not that bad. It's kind of like just pizza. Look up a basic margarita recipe and just basic, so basic. You guys know Dockside Margaritas? Where's that at? Is that Disney Springs? Yes. Oh, in Disney Springs. We're gonna mimic one of those. It's gonna be the Sunset, I think, Sunset Margarita. So it's got like orange juice and stuff like that. It's sunsetty. I don't know. What is there a red thing? It's orange juice, triple sec, sweet and sour, and tequila. Lime, lime juice. Alright, so first up for these sunset margaritas. So I put in the juice of one lime, and then I put in a couple ounces of the triple sec. Then I put the tequila in, and I put the sweet and sour mix in, and then some orange juice. And then I mix it up, and here we go. They look good, so we're gonna try. You still look pretty good. I'll give you that. Well done, babe. I haven't tried it yet, though, so. Oh, that's good. Maybe more tequila? I don't know. Mine's... How much did I put in? I don't know, but it's, it's pretty good. Okay. I wouldn't do too Tastes much. Tastes like a tequila to me. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tastes like a See, I think there's me. enough tequila in there. Yeah. <laughs> that tastes good. Sunset margaritas. Well, to go along with our margaritas and our other Mexican-styled food we're going to have, we're going to have one thing that's the funnest thing to say in Mexican foods. Go ahead, babe. I know you are just itching to say it. Chorizo? Fundido. Fundido! We're going to make queso fundido. So here are the things that you need to do this too. We need one half pound of Munster cheese Pre-sliced is okay, because you're gonna slice it or grate it anyways. One quarter pound of chorizo sausage. This is a whole pound, so we're gonna only use one fourth of it, right? Because, you know, math. And apparently those are the only um, two ingredients for queso fundido, is Munster cheese and uh, chorizo sausage. So first up, we're going to brown the sausage. Once that is browned and drained, then we're going to lightly grease a shallow oven broiler-proof casserole dish. We're gonna use this glass dish right here. You're gonna arrange half of the cheese in the bottom of the dish, like so. We're gonna to top it with the cooked sausage, and then we're gonna put the remaining cheese on that. And then at the end, we're gonna broil it. Yep, we're gonna set it under the broiler, inside, until the cheese melts and then lightly browns and gets that little nice crust on it, just like so. And voila! Like so. Queso fundido. Mm. Next up, 
we need to marinate these chickens. We didn't plan ahead enough, so it's not gonna marinate as much as it needs to, but uh, this is what we're gonna do. So we got the chicken, oil, garlic, salt, pepper, and jalapeno peppers, sliced. All right, now we got this chicken marinating. That's gonna marinate, not for like very long, maybe 30 minutes tops. We got them cool jalapenos, hot jalapenos, not cool. Come on, James, what are you thinking? Oh yeah, chorizo's about done. Chorizo. Chorizo, chorizo, like chozza. Chozza de margarita. Chozza. If you're ever having some margaritas, and Jessica makes them, just in case I'm not around to tell you, wait, who's having margaritas with Jessica without me? Anyways, be careful. She makes them pretty heavy. She's got a heavy hand. Are you calling me fat? All right, well, Jessica takes out that chorizo and puts it into another thing. We're gonna cook that chicken right there. I already cut it into strips. We're gonna marinate it. No, we already did marinate it. Not for long enough, so I don't even know if you wanna call that marinating. We basically just coated it with things because we didn't plan ahead enough. And then we're gonna put it in this thing over we're just here. We're gonna do it in the grease of the chorizo. I don't see that being a problem. It might make it more flavorful. Chicken's starting to look like it's getting done. But oh my god, we gotta take the cheese out of the cheese. stove or oven, I whatever you so wanna hard. call that. Get it. Oh, she's oh ready. God. <laughs> oh, my okay. god. oh my god. So it's lightly browned. Yeah, it's not bad. It looked worse at first. Yeah. But uh, so don't forget about this. <laughs> but hey, who doesn't like a little burnt cheese? Right? Looks like that. Right? Time to eat. Cheese. Fondito. Chorizo. I'm not sure how well these will dip, but it's really Ooh. hot. Whew. I'll probably burn my mouth. Look how hot. Hot. Tastes good? Mm-hmm. I'm going to try this a little bit, too. I Here. can't scoop it. I'm That's too not scooping cheese. Mmm. Mmm. The deliciousness is overwhelming. So good. So good. Top tortilla with chorizo, chicken, and cheese. That's gonna go here. Oh, there's our quesadilla maker. Lightly greased, and now we gotta put what cheese? Chorizo. Oh, chorizo. All right, so she's gonna put the chorizo on there. It's go time. Look, we are really moving now. Moving. All right, so we got the chorizo. We're gonna put that all in there. Okay, put a little chicken ah! up. Oh, what a mess. Okay, we're gonna put a couple pieces. Did of... it say slices? I don't know. So now what, cheese? Cheese. How much cheese did we put? I don't know, it's yours. This one's mine. I want lots of all cheese. cheese. All the cheese. Can I have all the cheese, please? Because this is like the glue, so we need lots of cheese. I don't know if that's the right answer or not, but... I like cheese! Yeah. Alright, close it. Do we... Oh boy. Are we supposed to... I don't know. I don't know either. This is your thing. Ah. It's, okay, it's, it's closed. Alright. It's doing it. Okay, now, now it might be done. That's, that might be right. All right, we've got it all plated up. There's our quesadilla maker ready for the next batch. And here's our first one, possibly complete. It is hot on the bottom. I'm gonna put it down. Just on top of here. Okay. Whew. Oh yeah. This knife. What? It's not necessary. Yeah, but you gotta. Ready? Question is, there you go. are you ready? All right, so here we go. They're hot. I can tell by the, um, I can tell by the, the steam. The steam, but I can also tell by how it's burning my hands. Wow. 
hot. It's so hot. It's really hot. Can you feel it? It's good. Needs more cheese. I thought I put Disney enough does cheese. a little bit extra to theirs, I think. Oh yeah, these are supposed to be Disney. Mm -hmm. Oh. I transferred my margarita, margarita into my Disney cup. I stay true to the margarita glass form. Thanks for coming along. Hopefully, by this point. Is there a seal? I don't know. How do you tell? There's a seal. Look. Twist cap off, pool tab. Oh, look, I just want to put sour cream on my quesadilla. Thanks for coming along to our new home and our new vlog made in this home newly at this time new when we did this consider subscribing to this channel if you like this type of crazy things that might inspire you to do other things in life or if you just think we're fun to watch and be around that's cool too feel free to like this video like it please and in the meantime as far as we're concerned that's pretty Cool.